Hey, welcome back. I gotta stop hitting this thing. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I have a bunch of little tiny notes that I, I guess I'll just kind of randomly go through. Um, and also, the draft is on. Apparently, it's 8.06, and they haven't made the first pick yet, which is surprising. We all know it's gonna be Trevor. But I want to see who my Jets pick. I wonder if they'll take the full 10 minutes or whatever to make the pick, or they'll just be like, we know. Um, it was surprising. It's, ugh, I hate that I do that. Um, apparently the Broncos are trading for Aaron Rodgers. That's crazy. What could the Packers pass possibly want for Rodgers? Like, they'd have to give him like 10 first round picks, right? <sighs> I'm saying this as a Jet fan because I'm like, Packers, you have a franchise quarterback. Those don't come around very often. You got to hold on to him. I don't care how old he is. Who do you think you're going to get to replace him? Try to build around him. How do I get down there? We got our Super Bowl out of him. That's enough. Let's get another quarterback. Nope. Keep him for as long as you can. <laughs> Cherish the moments with a franchise quarterback. A pea paradise. I put up a pogi and lap. Okay. <laughs> you gather all the trees and put them in a tree. Isn't <laughs> I always when I have I haven't heard that song in a million years, but. Is that really the lyric? Whenever I play that lyric in my head, I'm like, you gather all the trees and put them in a tree museum <laughs> and make all the people pay a dollar and a half to see them. I mean, that's when you know you had a really good song. When you could throw a line like that in there, like you have a really good hook. When you could throw a line like that in there and people are like, yeah, we still like the song. <laughs> Gather all the trees, put them in a tree museum. A what? Make all the people pay a dollar and a half to see them? That's not that much money. I, know, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> like, if they had a good reason to put them there. Like, we're running out of space. We need to put these trees in a tree museum. Man, don't you know? I remember when you used to not have to pay a dollar and a half to see a tree. <laughs> Am I really going to miss trees that much? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I can't do this. I don't know who was seen to go, but that you don't know what you got. That is going to be the red ass. I put up a parking lot. Ooh, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> okay, I'm on the... NFL Draft Twitter account. That's strange. The NFL Draft has a has its own Twitter. I make all the people pay a dollar and a half to see them. Hey, na na na. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Daddy, come. Okay, I guess they're not gonna pick right away. It didn't start right away. Um, Scooby Doo, Biddy Doo, Pop, Pop, Pop. Um, I could talk a little bit more about that meal I had on Monday with the person from church. And even like this is kind of in regards to also my. Uh oh, what if I was out of power bombs? What would I do here? That would be a disaster. Ooh, there's an energy deck. No, give me that. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't feel like I felt when I was a kid, like super nervous about doing stuff like this. I don't. I really didn't feel nervous about going to eat with the person, or I didn't feel nervous about the interview. Maybe part of it was like because it, it would have been worse if it was in person for sure. Um, 
I'm, I was normal person nervous. This is a term that I came up with before. That like, it's always frustrating when people are like, oh, I'm nervous about this this interview or I'm nervous about this test, but I'm like, you're not as nervous as me. You're normal person nervous. You're like nervous, but you can still do it. I'm anxiety nervous, which is better than your nervousness. I've got to figure out how to get to that room down there. Um, I, I'm normal person nervous. Like before the interview started, I was like, okay, I prepare a little bit. I'll, I'll probably be fine. I took some deep breaths and I did it and it was fine. Um, so I guess if you're watching, you can take some comfort in that. Like, oh, I get so nervous. I used to be like that. I, re I was remembering when I was in high school. Um, one of the youth group leaders would like ask me to go to dinner like, he would try to take every all the kids to dinner and be like, Oh, let's talk about Jesus and your life and stuff. And I would always be so nervous, like, dreading this thing. And I remember he would, sometimes he would call me and I'd be like, I don't want to answer. I don't want to answer because I know he's going to ask me. And I don't want to go. And then when I was there, I'd be, like, so nervous and just being like, Oh, I don't know, what do you want to talk about? Like, I'm, I'm a loser. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't have any friends. I just want to go home and watch Fringe. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's Friday night. Fringe is on. Was Fringe on Fridays? Or Tuesday or Friday? I don't know. Fringe. Don't it always seem to go? <laughs> Fringe wasn't that great. It was fine. I rewatched it. It was on Netflix. Um, it's good. It's better than anything else you're gonna watch on like, I don't know, Law and Order, Chicago, SVU, whatever you're gonna watch. It's better than that stuff. Because it's got aliens in it. I'm watching the X Files again too. Did I mention that? Fringe is kind of like X-Files 2.0. It's a good show, you should watch it if you haven't. Okay, what's the freaking pick? It's Trevor Lawrence, just tell me. Uh, what's the first pick? They haven't picked yet. This is ri ridiculous. NFL draft. I'm gonna go to the wiki. The wiki always updates. <laughs> uh, wiki, wiki. Player selections. Okay, they didn't pick yet. No. By the time this episode's over, I kind of want the Jets to have their pick in, but maybe not. Don't it always seem to go? Oh, do you don't know what you got. I wanted to get a, I'm reading the Old Testament, just give a quick summary. I read through Ezra and Nehemiah, just to help me remember what those books are about. They're not the most interesting books in the world. Um, Ezra, so, I have to go over to the right. Um, Ezra is about, so let me, let me, I'll, I'll tell you all the books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, Samuel, Kings, Chronicle, Samuel, Kings, and Chronicle, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 1 and 2. Um, then Ezra, Nehemiah. So I'm on Ezra, Nehemiah. The end of Chronicles kind of ends with the Israelites being captured by Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians. They have to go into exile because Jehovah Kim did something that God didn't like. So he like sends Nebuchadnezzar to, to capture the Israelites in Jerusalem or whatever. So Ezra starts with um, Cyprus the Great, who I think 
is an Egyptian king. I don't think he's a pharaoh. Um, maybe he's Persian. So, um, I think what happens is Cyprus the Great is the king of Persia, maybe, and he takes over the Israelites' land. And, um, and then he gets Nebuchadnezzar to, like, get the people back. Or he's like, yeah, the people can go back to where they live or something. Um, how do I get down there? So Ezra is, like, one of these people who goes back to there, to Israel. And he's, like, a priest or something? I don't remember what he is. Who's Ezra? Is he the builder? No, Nehemiah is the builder of the new temple. So that's what Nehemiah is about. The Nehemiah, Nehemiah is about rebuilding the second temple after Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the first one, I think. The Jewish temple is like a big deal because that was a temple that Solomon built. Um, and it's kind of like Israel being like, okay, this is our place. This is our temple. This is where we worship. This is where God is, like the holies of holies. And so the temple was a really big deal. Um, and so Nebuchadnezzar destroys it. And then they rebuild it after Cyprus the Great lets them go back to Israel. So who's Ezra? Ezra, Nehemiah, Ezra, Nehemiah, Ezra. No, not that Ezra. Who is Ezra? King of Persia, Ezra is written to fit a schematic pattern in which God of Israel inspires a king of Persia to commission a leader from a, the Jewish community to carry out a mission. Three successive leaders carry out three successive missions. The first rebuilding of the temple, the second purifying the Jewish community, and the third sealing the holy city itself behind a wall. Oh. Wikipedia is always so interesting. Uh... Cyrus the Great is king of Persia. So who is uh, Ezra? Ezra is the guy who says that we should rebuild the temple. Ezra, religious leader of Jews who returned from exile in Babylon, reformer who reconstituted the Jewish community on the basis of the Torah. Oh, that was important. He was like, we gotta read the Torah again and do what it says. Um, was a Jewish scribe and priest. According to the Hebrew Bible, he was a descendant of Shraya. Um, and a close relative of Joshua. Returned to exile. Reintroduced the Torah in Jerusalem. Oh, so that's all he really did. So Nehemiah just... Um, Nehemiah was the one who rebuilt the temple. Um, I kind of want to get down to the bottom area today. The pick is in. Oh, they're officially on the clock? That was four minutes ago. I thought it started at eight. Who's the pick? Who's the pick? Who's the pick? Who's the pick? Who are the jets going on? Pick? Who are the jets? I think we all know. It's that guy. Zach. Zach Wilson, is that his name? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oop. Okay, I wanna go down to that area. Don't hurt me. Oop. This thing that I'm doing is pretty weird, right? Nobody's watching. Vault, Vault, how are you doing? Are you still hanging in there? <laughs> uh, thanks for watching once in a while. It's nice of you. I try to watch your videos, but you haven't uploaded in a long time. What's up with that? You gotta upload a video every day for the past three years like me. <laughs> 
doesn't matter if they're garbage quality. <laughs> I want that, I want that, I want that. JURs, who'd you pick? Okay, I made it to the place. Well, can I make it over there? You really don't want to kill these guys. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh. oh, you need a grapple. Grapple, grapple, grapple. Okay, I gotta figure tomorrow how to get the grapple thing. Actually, tomorrow, hopefully I can figure out how to play Red Alert 2. Um, and if I can figure out how to play computer games, then maybe I can even emulate the next game I would like to play is Banjo-Kazooie. So if I can emulate that, that would be cool. The pick isn't for the Jaggies, but okay. I'm going to end today. Who are the Jets going to pick? I'm going to watch. Uh, see you tomorrow.